Good afternoon. Uh, we kind of figured on Saturday uh, like in southern New Orleans we uh, may be uh, a little bit one step behind and uh, kind of back to our old ways of what we did last year. We kind of showed that same kind of team that we played as last year, you know, trying to catch with one hand, not being very fundamental, not being focused, but uh, with, you know, unlike last year, we lost those games. We were able to kind of bounce back the second half and go on some runs and kind of weather their, their runs and, and get a win. So it's exciting. We're excited about this win, not only for us having an SEC team to come in, but a ranked team. You know, I don't know. Uh, you know they're a very, very good team. So to be able to get them at home uh, at this time of the year is pretty big for our program. So we're going to try to take advantage of it. Also, with football going on, we're really excited about the bowl game and what Coach Hutt has done for this athletic department. And for me, uh, this is a start. You know, I, li I like to be, I, we like to be the one that's starting the New Orleans Bowl. You know, two years ago, I, I still think it's the biggest win we've had against Tulane uh, two years ago, went to Tulane and beat them. I don't know, it was an 11 o'clock Wednesday game. Uh, so and it was an education game for Tulane. So we figured we'd try to do a repeat and uh, play uh, a ranked team at home uh, during the week of New Orleans Bowl and give us opportunity to see where we're at also. So we're excited. Uh, as soon as our game's over, uh, we'll uh, We'll head out to Alcorn on Friday and then stop off in New Orleans and watch some, some great football. So we're excited about this week. Uh, great week to be a Cajun. Question? Coach, what, what do, from Saturday do you just kind of flush as exam week or you know, whatever? And what do you really focus on the week we can't do this in Canada? I mean, I heard Ted Davison this morning. Uh, the guy was very impressive from Acadiana High School. He said um, when they were doing those, when they had all those turnovers and all, he told, he said it was focus and concentration. And man, it just stuck in my head. Man, that's it. And I'm going to go into practice, and we're going to do that. And that was our, my major pre-practice speech was, we need to be more focused. And, and it was great. It was great. So we made a step forward today. I thought we had a great practice. We had a lot of energy, you know. It's not that hard to motivate kids when you're going to play somebody really well. So I think that's number one. And then the other thing is, uh, you know, we need to grow up and, and be focused and concentrate. And, and so I thought that's what we did today. We'll, we'll focus on that tomorrow, too. And, you know, when I left practice, I, there was a lot of kids staying in the dome, shooting. And, you know, you can see the energies there and stuff. So I think that'll make the biggest difference, you know. Uh, mentally, you know, you, You'd be surprised the mental aspect of taking exams and all that. Uh, you would think that uh, this is a physical game, but it's such a mental game that uh, it, it's been tough on the kids. And, you know, I've been doing this 30 years, and it's, it hasn't changed, you know. It's a, it's a tough, I like that game, just simply to get all the kinks out. So we hopefully the kinks are out, and we can, uh, we can come out and play pretty, pretty tough against Mississippi State. So Mississippi State <coughs> picks up full court. How do you get the kids not to overreact to maybe what could be a couple of turnovers. Yeah, I tell you what they do, they pick you up when you come out the dorms, I said, you know, I told them that this morning, it's not going to be full court, it'll be coming out the dorms, and they, they press and they deny the ball in. Uh, the good thing about it is we do the same, we, we try to play that same style, and so we know and, you know, we're, we're planning for it, and, you know, it's just, uh, you have to be tough for 40 minutes, you know, so it, it makes it tough, and it's, it's why they're so good, you know, they put so much pressure on the ball. Last game, I saw them play against Southern Miss yesterday. They held Southern Miss to eight points. And that's pretty phenomenal. That's a hit. That's a record for them. So I mean, we've got to be prepared to take good shots, take care of the ball. And you know, if we don't do those things, it's going to be a tough game. Coach, you talked about the free throw shooting becoming a kind of a concern of yours after last Saturday. How has that been as far as the practice? Good. On that record? You know, I put kids in the middle of the lane. The toughest shot to me is right in the middle of the lane shooting a free throw. I mean, it really, you'd be surprised how many shots they miss because there's no focus, and they're like, I mean, it's an easy shot. You're right in the middle of the lane, you're, what, seven foot away or whatever, and we focus on that, and you'd be surprised what you run if you miss. And so it's kind of embarrassing that you're missing shots from right there. So I, we got their attention this morning, and I tell you what, we didn't see a lot of people running up and down the floor, so it made me feel a lot better. And then when we went to the free throw line, uh, it looked a lot better. And to me, it's about not making the shot, it's being prepared to make the shot. 
and I'm usually pretty good about making them do that. And I, I think last week I lost focus of that, and I kind of, you know, we, we, we kind of went off to a different direction and stuff and didn't focus as much. And this week, you know, we're going to really focus. And actually, coming into conference, we need to focus more on it. Gary, talk about uh, you've got that strong core following on the team. You've had that for several years now. But this is a chance tomorrow, not tomorrow, but Wednesday at 11. It's a whole new audience for you. Talk about the 11 o'clock start and what's behind that. Yeah, I tell you what, you know, we uh, we kind of went off of uh, some of the other women's basketball programs throughout the country, and they do an education game when they invite uh, the local school board to bring uh, students for free, you know, and try to provide a lunch at a, at a low cost and stuff. And we've seen uh, UTA them have four or 5,000 students. So, you know, we kind of spun off of that and tried to do it. And we've been talking this since the end of last year. And, uh, we had some hiccups with busing and all that, but I tell you what, uh, our staff, I'm very proud of our staff, but last Monday we really worked the phones, and I, I know a lot of the principals in the area, and I got them on the phone, and, you know, we, we're going to have about a 1,000 kids, but uh, watch next year. I mean, there's 20,000 elementary school kids in our parish, so, you know, we may break, break a record next year for all-time attendance if we if we get it done early. So uh, that's kind of why we started it. And then really, you know, I'm calling all my buddies that own all field companies and stuff. Hey, come eat lunch with us. You know, come enjoy and watch an SEC team, you know. Actually, a ranked team, you know, to get a ranked team in over here at this time is big. So we're trying to get as many people in. I know a lot of people are leaving uh, for New Orleans Bowl. That's fine. Uh, Jay's going to be on the radio. He's got a promotion in, uh, in his radio show. And and he'll be on the radio. Kevin Foote will be writing for women's basketball. I'm going to tell you what, there's some excitement, man, to see uh, see all these uh, famous guys that are are involved in our, our program. So, and the community, too. You know, I, I, we can't even go anywhere now. You know, they're undefeated. And, and I mean, I know we have a, I'm, I'm smart enough to know I've been doing, we got a long ways to go, but we are getting better. You know, we're making steps. We're winning games that we would have never won before if we hadn't made this step. So it's exciting. And to me, it's more exciting for our kids and our community. You know, it's not, a, you know, that's what I love about my coaching staff. It's not about them or me or it's about, man, this UL thing. And we believed in it. I believed in it for a long time. They believed in it. So it's, uh, it's exciting. Considering uh, Mississippi State's defensive pressure, is there anything particular that you stress to, the, to your guards just to not get in bad situations or maybe not turn their backs? Yeah, I tell you what, you know, we worked on it a lot today in the offense is back cut, you know, from from the first drill we did was off of back cuts and stuff. Because if you notice, they are playing in the passing lanes and they're not letting you get into your offense. So it's, we worked on a lot of dribble ads and dribble follows and just things that uh, are going to alleviate some pressure, some slips on some screens and stuff like that. So, I mean, we'll have to play heads up, you know, we'll have to take care of the ball. They're a little bit bigger than us. You know, I, I feel that we're just as athletic as they are. I just they're bigger, you know, and so, that, you know, big sometimes causes a problem, but, uh, you know, with them in the lanes and all that, and, you know, I think, you know, Southern, I thought Southern Miss got some looks. They just couldn't knock it down, and we go through that sometimes, too, so, uh, you know, we just got to knock down shots, open shots, and uh, and I feel that uh, we'll better defend, too, you know, I like what we're doing defensively, so, you know, it gives us some opportunities to uh, to see if we can, you know, I, I think our kids believe we can, so, you know, it's about taking care of the ball in the full court, and then, to alleviate that pressure, back cuts, you know, back cuts and, and doing some different, you know, we, we run so many different sets and stuff like that, you know, we kind of pull some sets that we think are going to work against them. Coach, what about the, you know, you have a little bit of break between between now and after that Mississippi State game between the next when you play Little Rock, but Little Rock again will be physical. So does the play Mississippi State kind of help you change your focus on playing a more physical type team coming up? You know, we've been playing some pretty good offensive teams, you know. Um, but the you know defense hadn't been as tough, and then you play against somebody like Mississippi State, and I mean that's how they win it. Even though they are averaging 87 points a game, which is kind of scary, they really defensive minded. But I mean you look at Little Rock. I, I mean I love what Joe Foley does. I mean I try. I'm, we're trying to build what he has, and he beat Oklahoma last night, and uh, that's pretty good. And you know, maybe it's not the same Oklahoma as it used to be, but you know to go over and beat Oklahoma, and he's so defensive minded. And so this will help us to prepare where we at, because I mean. Joe Foley and them can guard, man. Lil Rock really, really guards you and stuff and tries to keep you. I think they, they're probably top 10 in the country, probably at about 48 points per game to keep the people. So this will help us to see where we're at, you know, and, and find out what we need to work on uh, for that big game, you know. And, 
and then it was, yeah, we do have a pretty big break. I, I kind of squeezed in a game before them on the 28th against Jackson State because I'm scared about that layoff, you know. So we'll come in and, you know, we might be talking Jackson State, man, we didn't look. But I, I like to get, you know, the cobwebs out and then boom, we'll go to them on the 30th. I mean, they, they, they're they they playing well. I mean, they beat some really good teams this year in LSU and Oklahoma and Oral Roberts. And, I mean, they, they, they're a pretty good team. Aside from Mississippi State, maybe causing turnovers and getting in full court situations, transition, is there anything about their, their half court offense that kind of stands out as far as what they do when they're, when they're slowing down? Well, you know, I don't think they want to play slow. You know, I think that's why they, they want to play fast. But the thing about when they do play so slow that we don't have is they have two six fours, you know. And then that's a concern for us, you know. I really think we can guard their guards and stuff. It's going to be the inside play, you know. Can we front the post and get some backside help. When you front the post, you're giving up some rebounds sometimes too. And, uh, and so uh, we'll have to rebound. This will be the first time that I think we're, you know, we face 6'4", and actually two 6'4s that can really play, and a 6'1 that's really, really athletic. So I think it'll cause us some problems and stuff, but uh, hopefully we don't get too much in a half court game and we can, you know, play with them uh, in the full court and take care of the ball. and. Uh, you know, I've been pleased with our defense so far, and I, I don't see why it uh, can't continue to play well. So this isn't one of the up and down teams that you want to slow down. Y'all are kind of in a quandary here. Yeah, we are. That's a scary thing too. Is uh, Kevin? Do we shoot 71 times again? You know, we, we took 71 shots the other night. That's kind of a scary thing against a team like Mississippi State. You know, can you match their intensity? And and, uh, and so we're gonna have to. It's gonna be kind of a happy medium. Is, is can we? Uh, can we take care of the ball and push the ball in transition and be smart uh, and, and continue to take good shots? So yeah, it's a it's a it's a problem for us because you you don't really want to get in the half court game with them. Anything else, guys? Yeah. Thank y'all.